problem with the Taliban is they are coming with them with grudge of 20 years. Only in one week when they took over one of the districts in Kandahar and the swing bowl that there are estimations that they killed around 1,000 people in one week because those guys were somehow uh, closely uh, related to the government officials. They were not even officials themselves. They were just somehow the family members of, of either government officials or somebody they thought were against Taliban. Um, they are also killing journalists, anybody who is uh, speaking against them. Um, they are killing women who are going to school. Um, they are also killing those guys who uh, worked with the Americans or international troops. So the government will do its best what it can do. Um, that is why we always say that there will be a huge human catastrophe um, if the government is not supported on time. Not only because of these people who work for the, uh, with the Americans, but for all the people who are there. Because the way they think is anybody who worked for the government or anybody who was in those areas where the government was, all those people could be killed and, and yes, that, that fear is there. And the government will do its best to keep its people sit and citizens safe. Uh, this will become again a place for a lot of other terrorists to be trained. Many of our countries in the region would really suffer from that because at this point of time that we are speaking, uh, we are fighting more than 20 terrorist groups on our land. Some of them are um, targeting Uzbekistan as their country of, of influence, some Tajikistan, some China, uh, some international. Uh, so, uh, an extremist victory in Afghanistan means a victory for all of them. So, the message is very clear. We have to stand with the government of Afghanistan or the consequences are dire for everyone. Um, that's an unfortunate fact and I hope they see it as soon as they can before it's too late. China has been our friend historically and they've been our friend in the past 20 years. Um, we have faith in their good intentions. Um, I think China is positioned in a very uh, good position. They have their advantage that they are very close to different countries in the region and the Afghan conflict is not an internal conflict, it's uh, terrorism, it's an international terrorism and it has got its uh, regional factors and China is well placed in a position to play with those factors. Uh, therefore we do welcome their involvement and, and uh, active engagement. China is trying um, to have somehow a middle ground uh, that be able to mediate later. Uh, we don't necessarily agree with the terminology they use that this is a political group. We want Taliban to be political, but at this point of time they are not. Uh, what they are doing for us, it's a clear definition of terror. Uh, they are killing civilians. However, we do want them. That's why we are still talking to them and how we do want them to be a political fraction in, in the country and be part of the government. I think the Chinese government's uh, best bet is the, the government of Afghanistan. Uh, on the political side, we expect China to put more pressure on Taliban and then do a little bit more on this confidence building between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Um, that would be on the political side. On the financial side, yes, at this point of time we need assistance, uh, humanitarian assistance as well because of the, all the displaced that we have and we do expect our Chinese colleagues to help us with that. Uh, more than that, in, in um, long term we're expecting to have more trade with China. Um, if China could give us a little bit easy terms on trade, this would hugely help us with our very poor layer of society and would give us some more open hand to rebuild our country.